guys, welcome back to Save Mojo Homestead on a beautiful spring weekend. Finally nice. It is very nice. It actually might get hot today. Like yeah. feel hot because right. it's been so it's cold. Been so cold. Yeah. 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 So we got several things we're doing. Um I had to cut the grass for the first time this year. I was actually a little bit excited when I saw him doing that. Because she's not spring. cutting it. Yes, this is true. Um, but also it's spring. It is spring. <laughs> and Easter. Happy Easter, yes, guys. Happy Easter. Uh, if you guys celebrate, it's a good weekend. It's a yeah. good weekend. So at least here in South Carolina, weather-wise, it's a perfect, it's perfect, perfect yes. Easter weekend. Yeah. We are in crunch time. Yes. Yeah. It's time to get this garden ready. Yes. We have to finish the garden today. Yeah. yeah. If we're going to plant stuff on time. Yeah. So that means finishing up the rows, which are almost done. Pretty much got those done almost last weekend. So uh, just a little bit more work on that. But we have to get mulch down. Yeah. And we have to top dress all of our rows so that they have a fresh layer of food yeah. for the plants. And it's officially time to start weeding. So with spring comes weeds. So that's what I'm working on right now. We have a pretty invasive weed in our onion bed. So time to knock it out yeah this is the bed where we used our own compost and we had i mean it's invasive but it is a native and i can't mm -hmm. remember what it's called but um this weed going prolific yes yeah outside of our compost bed well clearly all the seeds found their way in right and now it's popping up as a nice ground cover that we don't want no so we're gonna be getting rid of that yeah so let's not waste any more time because we got a lot of work to do yep Bring us started. If you followed us for a while, you know that last year we had a white pumpkin that was a volunteer on the other side of the garden that we absolutely loved and be, was super prolific. We got a lot of harvest from it. It was one of those small white pumpkins and we actually roasted it like um, you would roast a potato and it was just awesome. Um, it made a really great side dish. So this year, as I was weeding, I discovered we have some more volunteers from our compost. I wonder what they'll be this year. We had that surprise white pumpkin that we didn't plant um, or plan on or even know that we were going to have because honestly, it was from our compost from like some decorative things that I got from the fall. So we had never even planted them before. So it was very much a surprise. This year, we have some sort of melon, squash, cucumber, something. And we have several plants that are pretty nicely spaced, actually, that have popped up from our compost. So it'll be fun to see what they are and um, see how much we get off of them. The neat thing about, to me, another neat thing about volunteers to me, other than the fact that like they are a surprise and you never know what you're going to get, is that the plants are acclimated to your soil and your environment. So they they have the opportunity to do really, really well. Some volunteers, I have heard some people say their volunteers don't produce as well. I've never had that experience in the garden. I've had that experience when they're out where they're not really protected from the animals and stuff and they get messed with. Volunteer tomatoes haven't always done well. Um, those we don't typically get as much of a yield from. I'm not really sure why. I'm excited to see how these end up producing and what they end up producing. It may be that we um, set up a little trellis or we just let them run, but um, we'll keep you posted on these fun volunteers behind us. Was she in the garden? Yes. <laughs> she likes to be in the garden. <laughs> she always finds her way in. She's the guilty chicken. If there's ever a chicken in the garden, it's her. Thankfully, she's super easy to catch. She's like our pet chicken. She follows us. She'll follow me around. I give her sunflower seeds when I'm milking. She's a really good chicken. Um, however, she does find her way in the garden quite often. So it's her. She's the problem. <laughs> if there's ever an issue in the garden with scratching, it's her fault. <laughs> So while Cass is working on all those weeds, I'm going to get a head start on getting this uh, compost laid out 
So this compost we actually ended up having to buy from a local landscape supply place. They get their compost from a place called Resoil, which is local to the Midlands of South Carolina. I think that they are in Elgin. I mean, it's pretty good stuff. My one complaint with it is that they don't sift it. So you get clumps like this that don't break up super easy. Um, and they eventually will break up. I've used it in the past. It is good stuff. It's just a little bit clumpy, uh, especially for a garden bed, but that's okay. We're going to make it work. Uh, our friends have just been out of town a lot and our schedules haven't jived, so I haven't been able to get more from them, but um, it'll, be, it'll be kind of a fun comparison to see how the stuff that's grown in this grows and produces compared to uh, our friends. If I had to put money on it, I'd say our friends is going to actually perform better than this stuff uh, just because they have such good stuff i mean as far as the structure of it the nutrients that are in it everything so this is going to be one of those days where we just have to knock out a lot of work i'm going to put you guys on time lapse and i'm going to start spreading this stuff out so last week i did get most of the rows down uh, but i didn't quite finish so working on finishing those up i really like it I like the way the layout has turned out. I like the little fingers off to the side. While the circle like is not super practical, I feel like the rows are more practical the way they're laid out this time. And the circle is intentionally less practical. The other thing, I'm just so glad to finally get compost down and get this garden moving forward. Yeah. Most areas that we wanted to get covered got covered. There's still some that did not, but I'm not too concerned. They are the areas that did perform pretty well last year. So I think there's probably still pretty good uh, nutrients left in that soil. We also have a five gallon like bucket of highly concentrated fertilizer that we are planning on using with correct measurements Correctly. <laughs> in the garden this year yeah. to just help supplement that because we don't want to completely deplete our soil no. uh, in one year. So, yeah. and I don't think that we have done that. No. But the more that we can just help it out, add to it, the better the soil will be and the stronger and healthier the plants will be. Yeah, I just came over here to get the mulch from over there. Our friends are here playing with their baby goats that they're buying from us, <laughs> getting a rundown of farm sitting and stuff. So when we need her in the future, but I have not really looked at our garden from this side. It is so beautiful. Look at that. And sneak peek. We have gotten all of the compost down and the spiral is really coming back to life. So super excited about this whole garden space. And I mean, the colors from this angle are unbeatable, I think, personally. I mean, check this out, guys. Can y'all see that? I don't know how well it's coming through on the camera, but the orange, the bright green, the blues, the reds, all of it. It just looks so nice from this angle. So we have some super exciting finds in our garden. Um, the first one we found earlier this week is our very first baby artichoke. Uh, I am super excited because you probably have heard this about me, but I'm from California and I grew up having artichokes occasionally it wasn't all the time but when we did have them they were literally my favorite and almost every time we had to hear the story of my family's first experience with an artichoke so artichokes are very nostalgic to me and i'm super excited to have one so my grandma and grandpa didn't have a lot of money my grandpa would go and just get whatever he could that was cheapest at the grocery store and one time my grandparents grew up in Oregon so when they were they were living in California at the time and he brought home these artichokes <laughs> my grandma didn't know what to do with them they did not cook them correctly they ended up being in a, a horrible horrible experience for them and they didn't even eat them and then of course they learned the correct way to eat artichokes and cook artichokes and um, it has become a family favorite but at first it was a horrible, horrible first experience for them and something that they, they would laugh about as I was growing up. The other thing that's super exciting that we found are our baby cucumbers. So last year, our cucumbers were planted a little late and not in the best part of the garden, and they just didn't do as well. Um, 
And so we are out of all of our relish and all of our pickles. They lasted for two years, which was great, but now we definitely need to replenish our pantry. So I'm super excited about all these baby cucumbers. And the fun thing about these cucumbers is that we are we have planted them pretty heavily in this row because we're going to trellis them and allow them to shade these brassicas that we have growing still in our garden. So I'm really excited about that and doing that or um that angled trellis that they can grow up to shade these plants. All right, so you're going to get to see a little bit of the garden layout, but peace. We're not going to show you the whole thing until after highs and lows. But I did want to show you the other fun thing that we found kind of this week. Uh, we knew that we had a good crop of them, but flowers are off and berries are starting to form. Look at that. So these blueberries have been in the ground since we moved into the house. So we've had them for a long time, but they have struggled. Now, the first couple of years, it was kind of like thin for yourself. Um, didn't do a lot of supplementing with them as far as water and all that stuff. But the last couple of years, we have really been intentional about making sure the sprinklers are hitting them, getting the soil right, and all of that. And last year, we got a couple of blueberries off of them. This year, I'm excited, guys. It looks like it might be like a bumper crop. So fingers crossed, all these flowers got pollinated, which I think they probably did because the bees have been crazy on them and we will have really good fruit set on all of our blueberries all right so enough about all of our exciting stuff let's do highs and lows, highs and lows. <laughs> <laughs> uh i'll go first i think my high i think my high was today getting everything done yes wood chips down yes. so glad to have that out of the way yes there's a little bit of a stressor hanging over my head yeah so that's nice um it is very very nice and just having the garden laying laid out now yeah it's like you can see it i am so excited cannot wait to just i mean i'm happy with the way it is now <laughs> i want food in it yes. i want stuff growing i'm ready for that hello uh, tree oh, we're gonna break this elderberry off mm -hmm. um but i'm already like i could come out here and use this garden for like just yeah reflective time right. and all of that right which is great because that's the goal of it yeah the food's just added to it so yeah, yeah i'm i'm excited about that my low i think was just it has just been a very full packed in busy week to the point of being kind of stressful and that was just made for not a fun week right um i work-wise got a lot done um it was a very productive week but just family stuff on top of that, other responsibilities, all of that stuff is really piling up. It just felt like a lot. Yeah. So. so my low was definitely the same, just a very full, busy, overwhelming week. Early mornings, late nights, I was exhausted all week, just a lot. So that was mine as well. My high is that we got this done. And our stance studio is on spring break next week. Yes. It's like so, the reprieve after the chaos, busy storm. Yes. yes. So I can actually come in and enjoy this place this week, which That'll is be nice. nice. Yeah. That'll be very nice. Yeah. So much needed R and R. So. So thank you guys for hanging out with us yes. in this garden prep day. Um, uh, it was fun for us. It was. <laughs> tiring for us yeah. it was a lot of hard work <laughs> but it was good and it was fun it was it was and we have plenty of wood chips yeah. for our mushroom garden yeah. which i'm very excited about if you guys are new with us we invite you guys to become a part of our youtube family which is just hitting subscribe joining along with us on all the things that we do yeah. out here and leave a comment we love interacting with you guys that way um it's been a lot of fun getting your feedback but also being able to just answer questions talk with you guys reply to some of those things so that has been a lot of fun looking ahead we will be have we will have a video later this week where we introduce to you our newest member to our homestead yes name, name and everything and all and i can't wait to introduce her to you guys also those of you who have stopped by our table at the farmer's market yeah. 
and chatted with us. I appreciate that. I thank you. It's been great chatting and connecting with people. So thank you for stopping by and seeing us. Also, don't forget to watch our ending clip for a full view of our garden layout. We hope you guys have a great week and be blessed.